what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a good day today i'm going to be showing you guys how i created these designer airbrush barbie nails i think they came out so cute so i'm going to be attempting to do duck nails again in this video and tell me why they came out looking like exactly the same as i did them last time but a little bit shorter um i guess i thought i cut down my nail tips enough but I guess I could have cut them shorter for more of a flare um, because when I ended up putting the duck nail tip on again they ended up being like really long so I took down the length so it took some of the flare away but then again I really don't like that huge flare I don't think it would be flattering on me but I do want more of a flare so hopefully the third time that I get it it will come out right I probably should have done it on a practice finger but it is what it is I know there were some people on my other video commenting that they're not duck nails but there are all different kinds of duck nails in 2023 like you could have some that are super flared out and some that have like a smaller flare where you can't really see it as much like the ones that i'm doing so yeah i get like you know the old school duck nails where they're super flared out um, but yeah, there is all different types like people do them all different kind of ways nowadays I'm doing the ones where they're not so flared out because I don't really Like the way they look on me if they're super flared out like I used to wear them back in the day um, And have like that super flared look but like I'm not really into that a lot of you guys actually like them like this anyway because uh, Honestly, let's be real duck nails are ugly so i feel like my version is cute where it's like a little bit flared but i do want to do them with more of a flare but just a little longer um and i still think it would look cute but i'm gonna do it um but i just really didn't feel like refilming the video so i just went with it i do like how they're a little shorter than they were last time because last time <laughs> they were like way too freaking long like i couldn't wait to take them off i like long nails don't get me wrong but like when they're super long like that it's just like ridiculous um i can't like do anything with them um but this length i can manage with these i think it's really cute um, they almost kind of remind me of like bell bottom i wonder if i should have called them like bell bottom nails i wonder if i just like created a new nail shape i don't know but anyways um as you can see i applied my 2xl nail tips i cut those down halfway this time um last time i didn't cut them down as much so i cut them halfway this time and then glued a smaller duck nail tip on the tip of those after kind of like shaping them up a little bit um, you want to use one that's small enough so it fits at the bottom of each nail tip um, Kind of like double tipping um, And as you can see when I put the duck nail tip on they were still super long and I was like Oh, no, we are not having like another episode of my last video again where they're like ridiculously long so I did end up taking down the duck nail tip a little bit and that's probably why some of the flare at the end went away but yeah it just wasn't giving me exactly what i wanted but it was still cute it was still cute um so i just went with it because yeah why not i'll just try it again in another video you know what they say third time is a charm Winnie. Now I'm going to take my e-file and I'm going to use a 180 sanding band to um, take down the length on these because as you can see they're ridiculously long and we are not doing that this time. Um, so I'm just taking it and kind of like filing straight across at the bottom. I'm going to use my hand file to perfect the shape a little bit and take the length down just a little bit more. I'm also going to etch the tips, um, just kind of file over the surface to make sure they're nice and etched so that when I apply the product onto them, it sticks a lot better. But as you can see, taking down the length, it looks it looks a lot better. They look a lot less goofy. I feel like they look really goofy when they're just like long like that and like the duck part is at the bottom. And I don't know, it, looks, it just looks strange to me. They need to be like a little bit shorter. I guess what I should have done was just cut 
the nail tip down really short and then just stick the duck nail tip on because I keep forgetting like how long the duck nail tips are maybe I'm like misjudging it because um, I don't use them all the time so yeah I'm probably gonna have to actually cut the length half of what it is now in the video then go in with the duck nail tip and then I should finally get the look that I want so we're gonna try this a third time in another video and hopefully it works so yeah but these are so cute I'm gonna go with these these are cute but yeah I And like I said, I'm going to use my hand file just to um, shape up the bottom of the nail tips. I'm not even going to file the sides because I already um, pre-shaped my regular nail tips with the drill so I wouldn't have to do that. I don't really like filing too much um, when I double tip because the tips tend to fall off very easily and it's a pain when you have to like stop and glue them back on. So that's why I did it like this. So I just file straight across. Um, I did take down a little extra length so they weren't like super freaking long. Um, and then I feel like the length was perfect after I did that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the acrylic. So I'm gonna apply my primer first. And yes, I do still have some product on my nails, but I was too lazy to soak them off, honestly. So it is what it is. I dehydrated with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol after I washed my hands. And I'm go I went in with two coats of Savalian primer. And I'm using this acrylic color from one of the Model 1's little uh, mini acrylic powder kits. It's the number 48. It's a really pretty magenta shade with glitters in it but this color is like oh my god it sucks so bad um it like marbles and it's super runny like i was draining the liquid out of the back of my beads and it was still running all over the freaking place i'm not really sure what's going on with this acrylic but the color is really pretty so i wanted to use it i don't really have any other color like this um and i don't know i just wanted like a glittery background for my airbrush and i thought this was a perfect color because i don't really use this color that much on my channel so i wanted to try something different it kind of like reminded me of my background on my cell phone so that's kind of like where i got the inspo from it's exactly this color and it has like some louis vuitton print and stuff like that on it um so that's kind of like where the inspo came from um, but it does take like a few beads to actually build up the color because as you can see it marbles and you can see the clear and it gives like patches in the acrylic. So what I do is just kind of like apply the acrylic and then go back in and add tiny beads where I see it's like too clear. I'm doing a thin layer of this and then going to be encapsulating with regular clear acrylic uh, so that I don't file the glitter off or anything. But yeah, as you can see, it like marbles with the pigment and the clear, it's, and it's really sticky. It was just a real pain to work with, but I managed to make it work like I usually do with everything on this channel.
Okay, so now I'm going to encapsulate them with some Mia Secret Clear Acrylic. I'm using Mia Secret Monomer too, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm using the clear to kind of build up the rest of the nails um, and encapsulate the glitter so I don't file it off. Um, my brush was a little bit sticky, so my acrylic was applying kind of weird, but I managed to make it work. Um, I'm doing a three bead method, so I'm building up the free edge of the nail first. And then I use the next two beads to build my apex. So I focus the acrylic usually in the area that I put it in. For the two beads up by the apex area, I just blend it down into the tip a little bit. So there's not like a line of demarcation there. And my camera did cut off when I got to the pinky, but I pretty much do the same thing for all of the nails. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and shape up the nails really quick with my e-file. I'm using a medium grit ceramic drill bit to debulk my nails and I'm using the Melody Susie Jade Nail Drill and Dust Collector. If you guys are interested in anything I'm using in the video, it will be linked in the description box down below with my discount codes. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm debulking the nails first and then I'm going to shape them up. So because they kind of got out of shape a lot with the acrylic because um, the acrylic was giving me issues, um, some of the flare disappeared. So I had to file along the sides to bring it back out because by the time I was done applying the acrylic, they pretty much looked square. Um, so when that happens, you want to just don't file like where the flared out part is but like along the sides and then you'll start to see the flare coming back through um so yeah it's basically what i'm doing i'm filing around the cuticle um to seal around the cuticle and then just filing down the nails to smooth them out so as you can see when i'm turning my nail to the side you can see how the structure of the nail looks you should have the little hill at your apex and then some thickness towards the free edge so your nails don't break and if you look down the barrel of your nail, the sidewall should be the thinnest part. And like I said, don't file too much at the flare part because it will get rid of the flare and then they'll just end up looking square, especially when you already made them not have a flare as much to begin with.
に。To shape them up, I'm going to use a 100-180 grit hand file, and excuse me for being out of frame a little bit, um, I wasn't really paying attention and I didn't really realize it. But yeah, to file them, you basically want to file along the shape of the nail. Don't really file inwards towards the tip, just file along the shape of the nail um, a little bit, not too much because you don't want to get rid of that flare. Um, and then to file the free edge, hold your file at an angle and file straight across. And then when you're done, just buff out the scratches. Ringy.
So I'm going to be using my airbrush machine from Pelkas again. Um, I have some stencils that I'm going to be using. These are linked in my Amazon store, by the way. Um, so I'm using some Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Barbie stencils. I wanted to make it like a cute little designer Barbie set. And sorry I was a little bit out of frame in this part too, but I do end up coming back in frame here and there. But yeah, you basically want to put the stencils on the nail um, and, you know, fill your little airbrush machine up with some airbrush ink. I have these inks in my Amazon store. I like to use these. Um, I'm using the white one. They're from Ofer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, I put a little bit in the little bowl um, and then just kind of like adjust this um, speed of the airbrush gun and then just basically do a light spray over each stencil. You want to spray like directly on the stencil very lightly. Um, and like kind of like move down the nail and do the same thing to the other one um, There was a couple times where like I accidentally sprayed it too hard um, And a lot of paint came out if that happens you could take a little like Gel brush and like kind of like pat some of the excess paint off um, So you don't have to redo the entire nail again, but yeah as you can see doing that um Like will cover all the stencils and if you start to lift one of the stencils and you can't really see it that well you can put it back down and go back over it with some more paint um, you can also use gel polish in this airbrush machine i reviewed this in um, my last duck nail video um, and so far it's been working pretty good um, it worked a lot better than my last one i don't know what i did to the last one but yeah i it, i can't get it to work i gotta figure it out um, for this one, I thought I couldn't figure it out at first, but you have to actually take off the back piece to adjust the pressure, um, and then it's pretty much good. But as you can see, I sprayed too much on this nail, so I'm taking a little gel brush before it dries and kind of like dabbing it, um, and it just removes some of the paint so it's not so like harsh, you know? To finish, I'm going to go ahead and add some nail charms. So I have these cute little Barbie charms and some hearts, also some little AB rhinestones. So I'm going to be using some McCart rhinestone gel to apply them um, while the nails dry. Just be really careful not to wipe off any of the paint. And I know I did the airbrush on the Barbie and I'm covering up some of them with the Barbie charms, but I thought it looked really, really cute. So I decided to just leave it like that. I did leave one of the Barbies like... Um, showing um, but yeah I thought it looked really cute with the Barbie charm I felt like it brought things out a lot more so that's why I decided to like cover it up otherwise it kind of looked just blah to me um, I feel like the charms added just a little more oomph to the set after that I'm just gonna top coat all of them once they're fully dry and that's pretty much all I do I hope you guys like this set let me know what you think of it in the comments 
Um, I love hearing you guys feedback. It lets me know what type of videos you guys like to watch. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave for more nail tutorials and reviews. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I love you guys. Ready?